So I wanted to show a demo of this new AI chatbot solution that's been coming around. So we get this starting message and we can select our normal things like shipping time. And it's going to give us a rundown and like what is festivals. It's going to give us a rundown. But this is where the AI chatbot gets better. We can go something else and we can actually ask it a question. So we can say, how do I purchase something on this website? And this isn't a human behind here giving us this answers. This is an AI algorithm like ChatGPT. It scraped our website and it's getting data to answer these questions promptly. So add to the cart, check out, you know, just the standard things that you would know how to do. And do you have any other questions? Let's go yes. And now I'm going to show how this is even better. We can say, how do I fly to the moon? That isn't a question on my database. So it's going to say, I'm sorry, it doesn't have an answer to that. Any other questions? No. And now it's going to prompt us for some lead details. So please enter your email or phone number to receive special offers. So I'll enter my email in. This is my email at gmail.com. And if we go over to this spreadsheet here, you can now see the how do I fly to the moon question that the chatbot couldn't reply to has now been populated here in this Excel spreadsheet and also the user's contact details. So if you have this as a lead generator on your website, you could just capture leads this way automatically without having a chatbot assistant on there saving you time and money. So this is all thanks to these Zapier integrations. We have the user contact info variable and the user question variable which directly correlate to these columns here but we can also capture other data we can capture any sort of data that you want and of course this all comes back down to botpress which runs the whole show so it all starts here at this conversation started then it goes over to welcome the user and then we can say what we want and then we can have a multiple choice here, shipping times, what is feasible or something else. So these ones are just generic replies that we've set as answers. But the something else field is where we have a sure reply and then we can go in and check our knowledge base, which we have set up with some knowledge base article data here and our main base website. But we, but if you had a PDF, for example, we could also plug that in here and make that work so what this is saying is if there's no knowledge then it's going to go back into the fallback which is sorry i don't have an answer to that and it's going to go over and execute some code to our zapier web hook here and it's going to populate our save question google sheet document and once the user doesn't have any other questions they select no it's going to go over to user contact info and again save that to our user contact info variable and populate that into the user contact field in our Google spreadsheet. So yeah, this is just a quick video of how we use BotPress, Zapier and Google Sheets to automate our chatbot on our website here. No worries. Thank you for watching and my link to my website is in the description below if you are interested. Thank you very much. Cheers.